Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Cookies with Coder Bunnies. Today we have with us Nick Kohut. Hello. Who is the creator of one of the most interesting robots, Kamigami. He's also the CEO of Dash Robotics, which is a company formed by a group of PhDs from UC Berkeley. So Nick, Kamigami is such a unique name. And then there are unique robots which you can build with your own hands. Mm -hmm. So what's the story behind the name Kamigami, or just the robot overall? Yeah, so um, I'll tell you about the robot overall first mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, as you mentioned, uh, we started the company when we were at UC Berkeley getting our PhD, and we had worked on these folding robots. They're sort of like an almost origami-like process. Um, and they were originally intended to be used for like search and rescue operations oh. and things like that. So I see Kamigami, origami, they kind That's of... That's right. right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, and, and we actually had taken the robots, like the, in our lab, we had taken the robots to different um, like museums or um, like kids science shows and things like that and kids went crazy for them. And the parents were asking us like, you know, where do I buy these robots? And we had told them, like, oh, you can't buy them. So They're did you guys project. originally create the robots? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, some, what my co-founder and, like, some of our friends had, had built these robots in the lab. I was working on similar robots. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's where it came from. And so we decided to form a company around it and, and sell them as toys. And then, like you said, the name is related to origami. Um, origami. So, yeah, kami is, like, um, the Japanese word for the paper used in origami. And kamigami is, like, the plural. So oh. it's just it's just a reference to the origami. Oh, that's that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. unique name. Mm -hmm. So, what what were one of your um, most fun and exciting things you faced in your entrepreneurship journey, and then what were some of the challenges you also faced? Uh, I think something that was really fun actually. Um, we got chosen to help make a documentary about oh, startups. Wow. And, yeah, about startups in China, and so we traveled to China and we lived in uh, Shenzhen which is in southern China right next to Hong Kong for like two weeks uh, with the all like Chinese American film crew and we just like talked to different entrepreneurs there and learned about their startups and we shared our experiences and that was like a really cool cross-cultural experience. Um, so that was super fun. Um, for challenging things, uh, the first, the first uh, like line of robots that we did, it was actually called Dash Beta, we produced it in 2014 and uh, Andrew and I, um, with, with some help from a few friends, uh, built all the robots ourselves. Um, and we shipped around 1,300 units, but we laser cut every single robot ourselves. Andrew actually hand assembled every single gearbox. It was an enormous amount of work. We drove them all to, all to the post office ourselves. It was crazy. So that was, that was challenging. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that does sound like a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. So robotics is such an emerging field. So how can one get into it at an early age? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. I think robotics is really cool because it has a lot of aspects in engineering all in one. You know, software and electronics and also mechanical stuff. So it's it's great for that. And um, there's a lot of a lot of ways to do that now. Um, there's a lot of great toys. Kamigami is one. Uh, Lego Mindstorms. Uh, like Moss Robotics makes some cool stuff. Sphero. Uh, looks like Coder Bunnies might be a good way to get started. Um, so I think that um, there's all kinds of toys and things like that. I think it's also, you know, math and science are super important. So, um, you know, concentrating on that, on that in school and, and, and doing a good job there is, is key. Wow. So you mentioned all these um, all these toys. So which mm -hmm. one, besides Kamigami, um, sounds like your favorite? Oh, that's a good question. Besides Kamigami. Um, I think uh, Cosmo by Anki is a really impressive toy. Um, it's a little expensive, at like $180 or so, but uh, they've done a lot there, and that's that's pretty impressive. Um, yeah, that's what I would say. Nice. What makes you happy? Oh man, uh, I think I, you know being with my family makes me happy. Um, my wife and my young daughter uh, really make me happy, um, and also you know at work just seeing uh, the team work together and. Uh, come together to produce something totally new and something that excites people mm -hmm. um, and when you see kids play with it and they're really happy like that that makes me happy too. Cool that's, that's really nice. So what would be one piece of advice you would give to kids of me and like kids like me or kids of my generation? 
Yeah, so I think for your age, um, and my advice for like robotics and engineering is do your homework. Uh, but I think also it's, it's about more than just doing your homework to get good grades. It's about like trying to understand the concepts and grasp the concepts themselves. And don't just, don't just memorize, like try to really understand. And yeah. that makes a big difference because that builds over time. Don't just do homework because you have to do it because right. you understand the concepts. Right, exactly, exactly. So now for the last and the toughest question. Mm -hmm. Cookies, cake, or chocolate? Which one's your favorite? Well, to me, it's really not dessert unless there's some form of chocolate involved. Huh? Um, but I'm not a big fan of like chocolates themselves. I mean, they're good, but I would have to go with cookies overall. Chocolate chip cookies. Cookies. Are, double chocolate cookies are really good too. Yeah. I love cookies too. Yeah, they're great. Well, thanks, Nick, for being on the show. It was a pleasure having you. We got to learn so much about robotics, about kamigami. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Glad to be here.